Let's do the same thing with uh, without doing the permanent geometry uh, cleanup. Let's actually use some of the virtual uh, topology, geometry, and FEMAP to do the same thing. So what I'll do is create a new model, bring in that same piece of geometry, and I don't think we'll even need to uh, use the locator. We kind of know where everything's at right now. Let's zoom in here and I'll share what we can do. We do have this little sliver face right next to another face. So we do have a, a uh, combined composite surface. They just pick a curve and FEMAP actually just connects the two surfaces together. So we do the same thing there. Same end effect as what we did before. Do the same thing over there. And now we basically just combine those two surfaces. And then we also want to do the same thing with that little undercut in this edge here. So we'll basically just pick him and that combines all that into one surface. And we can even run that right over here to the other side. And now that's all treated as one surface, kind of pulling that little ledge off. So I'll zoom back now, turn off the picking there. And I think all what to do is just mesh them. So we'll pick the part, pick the uh, same material again, say OK, and fire it through. And it's meshing, it's loading up the tetra mesher. It's done tet meshing, it's getting the mid-side nodes in there. And here's our mesh, looks good. Let me just turn uh, turn everything off and turn just the mesh back on, just to verify it did what we thought it was going to do. Let's go down here uh, and look up underneath this edge. So I'm going to set the view center right at that node right there. And then rotate up and we see that underneath there, that little tiny sliver edge was taken out. We've got a nice mesh all the way up underneath.